Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Lost Planet 2 benchmark on Ubuntu 13.10. Now this should also work on Ubuntu 12.04, 12.10, and 13.04. This will also work on any other Linux distro that you can use Play on Linux on. Alright, so the first thing is you're going to need Play on Linux, and in this guide I'm going to be using 4.2.1. So please make sure you have the latest. You can download it for free from their website and then install it. And the second thing you're going to need is the actual Lost Planet 2 Benchmark.exe that I have here on the desktop. The link to download this will be in the description down below. It's free. You should be able to find it on Google easily. So let's get started. Now inside Play on Linux, first go to Tools and Manage Wine Versions. All right. Because we're going to be using a patched wine here, we're going to be wanting this one right here, 1.7.1 CSMT. But what you're going to be seeing is that it'll be on the left side, all right? So you're going to click it, and then you're going to click this little arrow here. It'll install itself, and once it's installed, it will appear on the right side, all right? So make sure you have this installed. Select on the left side, click the arrow button here, and it'll appear on the right side. Once you're done with that, you can close this. So click the big install button. All right. Now we're going to go to the bottom left part here. Install a non-listed program. All right, click that. Give it a couple of seconds. All right, click next. Now here we're going to install a program in a new virtual drive. All right, click next. Now you can name the drive anything, but it's always best to be specific so you know what it is later on. So I'm going to type Lost Planet to Bench. Alright, I'm going to click Next. Now we're going to do all these three things here, alright? We're going to use another version of Wine, because by default Play on Linux uses the system version, but we want to use that CSMT version just now. We're going to configure Wine, we're going to set it into windowed mode, it's always safer. And then we're going to install some libraries, because without these libraries, Lost Planet 2 will not run inside Wine. So with all three ticked, click Next. Here is where we choose the Wine version. I have a lot installed, but you may only see System and 1.7.1 CSMT. That's okay. All we want is 1.7.1 CSMT. Select that and click Next. Click 32 bits Windows installation. Now, regardless whether your system is 32-bit or 64-bit, what we're doing here is we're selecting the Wine version, all right? And right now, the most supported and working Wine is the 32-bit version, okay? So select that and click Next. Now it's creating the drive with the name that you gave it. So now it's going to go into the configuration. This is where we're going to set a window size. Give it a couple of seconds. All right, so it's appeared. Now everything here can stay the same, except go to graphics, and then we're going to tick emulate a virtual desktop. Now this is really optional, but it's always best that you set it to a virtual desktop so that if the application resizes itself, it doesn't mess up your system. So for me, I'm going to set the resolution to 1920 by 1080. That's my full screen size. Maybe for you that would be 1366 or maybe 720p. It could be anything. It's up to you to choose what resolution you want. I'm going with 1920 by 1080p. Clicking Apply and I'm clicking OK. So we've configured one. Now comes the part where we install several libraries that are necessary for Lost Planet 2. All right. If you're not sure what they are or you can't read it very well on the screen, you can always check the description down below. First thing we're going to install is DirectX 9, D3DX 9. So tick that. The second thing we're going to install would be all the way down below. We are looking for XAct. So tick XAct. All right. Now the next thing we want is X input right below it. Tick that as well. So we have three things ticked so far. Now, the last two items will be WMP9, which is up here. Oh, here it is. Click this. 
WMP9 and WMP Codex. Now with all that we should be set. We can click Next. It will take its time to install these. Very, it will probably flash a lot on the screen. It goes into full screen because I set the window to 1920 by 1080. So what you're seeing when that blue part comes out is the window. All right. Let it do its installing. It might take a couple minutes depending on how fast or slow your system is, how fast or slow your hard drive is. All right. Hopefully after this is done, we can go straight to installing the benchmark. It's best to have the benchmark on your desktop. So when you're searching for it, you don't get lost, especially if you're new to Linux and you just want to try this out. With this benchmark, you can test your wine and see does it work well on your system or it doesn't. Alright, so it's done installing the libraries. Now we are going to browse to the exe on the desktop here. Okay? So click browse. Click desktop on the left here. Now on the desktop we want Lost Planet 2 benchmark.exe. Click open. And now click next. Alright, so it's going to open up into a full screen. Now we're going to do the installation as if we were on Windows. I click OK for English. Let it do its setting up. Sometimes it can be jerky. It may even go out of screen sometimes, but that's okay. It is installing properly. Future viewers, say a year from now, you may not need Wine 1.7.1 CSMT anymore because hopefully by then, the CSMT patch will be part of Wine. Of course, I don't know in a year's time what may happen or may not happen, but hopefully that's what's planned to happen. As always though, the older versions of Wine are always available, so you'll be able to use this regardless. Alright, let's click Next here. I accept. You have to accept to continue. Click Next. Click Next. You don't need to worry about this. Forget about that. Just click Next. Click Install. Let it do its copying. So far so good. Everything is running smoothly. Alright. Now we want to untick this. We do not want to launch the program just yet. Because we've only just installed it. So we click Finish. Let it close itself. Alright. Now we're going to come up to the part where we make the shortcut. Okay, so we have several things to choose from here. So you might be wondering, what do I choose? You choose one and only one thing. The Benchmark Launcher. Alright. This is the one that will let you choose later on. Now in Wine, you can only run the DirectX 9 version of this. Alright. Since Wine does not yet support DirectX 10 or 11 at the time of this recording. So select Benchmark Launcher. Click Next. You can name this anything. I'm going to name this Lost Planet 2 Bench Launcher. You can name it anything. This is what I'm naming it. Click Next. Alright, so we're done with making that shortcut. Click I don't want to make another shortcut. Click Next. And you're done. So now that we're done there, we still have one more thing we have to do before we can run it. Alright, and this is the part that can get a bit tricky if you're not used to using one yet. So select this, Lost Planet 2 Bench Launcher. Now click the Configure button here, or you can also click it on the right, makes no difference. Click that. Now go to the tab that says Wine. Now go to the Registry Editor. The reason we have to do this is because this is a patched version of Wine and we have to set two things. Alright? You can also use this for other games that you want to install on CSMT. So go to H key current user, double click it, go to software, double click it, go to wine, double click it. Now right click on wine, go to new and key. All right, what we're going to type here is direct 3D. It's very important that you follow the capitalization, right? The D must be large. Okay? So we have Direct 3D under Wine, which is under Software, which is under HK Current User. Okay, so we put in a new key. Now inside here, we're going to put in two new string values. Alright? So the first one, we are going to call it CSMT. Now we're going to put one more new string value. And we're going to call this one Strict Draw Ordering. 
very important that the S, D, and O are all capitalized. Click enter. Now double click CSMT at the data section here. And what we're going to do is we're going to type enabled. All right. We're going to type enabled. Close that. Double click this. Now for the strict draw ordering, we're going to type disabled. Okay, this is very important that you do these two things. Now I can click OK. Okay, we're done with this part. Now we can close this. Now we can actually get to running the benchmark. So now with that done, just make sure you have Lost Planet 2 Bench Launcher highlighted or whatever you've called it and click the big run button here. All right. So you are presented with the Lost Planet 2 Benchmark Launcher. You can only select the DirectX 9 version. So click that. Okay, it's going to start up. Don't worry about it going behind the screen. This is the reason why we make it into windowed mode in the first place, so that I can do all these wonky stuff. You can always remove the windowed mode later on by going into configure. But for now, we just want to get this up and running. Don't worry, I will show you how to remove the windowed mode later on. So, it works with my keyboard and with my mouse. So under PC settings, we have it set, 1920, high, high, everything's high, clicking backspace, so it's working right off the bat. Let's click benchmark test. Let's click test B, just to test this out shortly. I'm not going to run the whole thing, just to see if it works or not. It should. And yes, we are seeing it work right now. While I'm recording, it's most likely going to look sluggish, because I am recording at the same time. So we know that it works. We've set it up properly. I'm going to click escape and escape once more to end the benchmark. All right, I'm going to click back and I'm going to quit. So that is it for the installation and running of the Lost Planet 2 benchmark. Now you may want to remove the windowed mode and have it run full screen. It's always best to set your resolution inside windowed mode. Once you're done with all that setting and graphical setting stuff, then you remove the windowed mode. So we're going to do that here. Make sure it's highlighted once more. Click configure. Go to the Wine tab, click Configure Wine, let it start up. Here's where we're going to remove that windowed mode we set earlier on. So go to the Graphics tab and just simply untick Emulate a Virtual Desktop. Click Apply and click OK. So now if you were to run it, instead of it running behind the Unity tab just now and having it a big screen, as you can see, it's out here as if it was outside of a window. It's inside Ubuntu running like it's normal. All right, so we click the DirectX 9 version. And as you can see, it is full screen. That is the beauty of Wine, which is pretty awesome. They keep getting better and better. I hope they support DirectX 10 and 11 soon in the future. Because I don't think most developers are going OpenGL just yet. So, short test. Click back. Yep, sure. Test it working. This is in full screen. Click test B. It will be sluggish because I am screen recording at the same time. All right, so it does work. So clicking escape. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope this helps you set up the benchmark. So if you've managed to set it up, go ahead, record it, share it online, let other people see what you're getting on your Linux distribution. Let them know how Wine is faring for you. So I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching guys.